in Smack Studio, frame by frame animation works several ways. So we'll use our fighting robot example from OpenGameArt.org again. And if you recall from a previous tutorial, we're able to export an animation like such as this one and get a full on sprite sheet for it. And they're all spaced out properly and that's all fine and dandy. You'll be able to import that no problem with this import option. So I'll give you a quick uh, example of what that looks like. If I select the file, that's one of our previous animations. It's going to detect everything and I'm able to import. It's going to create a sprite layer. And here we have that animation that these are all sprites, right? That's great, but sometimes you don't necessarily have a perfectly spaced out sprite sheet, although you do have sprites for your character. So in that case, you can use this option here to import. Let's pick our our uh, sheet here. Note it has to be in PNG format. And let's import some walking sprites. So I'm going to actually completely hide this and I'm going to start importing the walking animation which is this. Now there's a several options. You have uh, drag to select and you have click to import. And what you'll find is it will automatically detect where the feet are and it will line them up. So let's give that a shot and see if it works. I'm going to simply click on the sprite that I want. Now it looks like it got cut off. So in this particular case, I'm going to use a different method. I'm going to use the drag to select method. So let's try that. And check it out. We got the full sprite that time. Uh, let's move into position. And let's see if we can try the next frame of animation with the click method. Awesome. Okay, that one worked. And it's going to, again, detect the where the bottom of that sprite is, and it's going to align that. And I'm, I'm choosing every third keyframe, uh, but you can adjust the speed to your liking. Let's try the next one. All right, cool. Looks like we're on to a good start. Now I'm pretty confident it's going to pick it up properly. I think the issue was this sprite was touching the very edge of the screen, which maybe was confusing it. So I'm actually going to hold, I'm just going to select keep pane open here, and I'm going to click the fourth sprite here, and I'm just going to hit enter, and that's going to move the keyframes for me, enter on my keyboard that is, and I'm just going to keep doing that for each sprite. And we're done, so let's check out that animation. Okay, it's a little jagged, um, but if we line things up, that's pretty good, and that was pretty fast, too. So one way to kind of make sure that your sprite is doing well is make sure that it's aligned in the center. So maybe I'll look at this, and I'll say, okay, it looks like he's around here, and I'll make sure I'm on the Move tool, and maybe I want to move him a bit more in line with where he is here. So he's not going back and forth too much, he's just going up and down. That looks a bit better. Let's try that. Okay. Okay, that looks good. All right, now I kind of lined them up better. Let's see what that looks like. Look at that. That looks very solid. So that's one method you can use to import sprites. And again, notice I put these gaps here. If you'd like, you know, you can extend these out. I'm going to click and copy with Control C. I'm going to delete this keyframe with the delete key, and I'm going to move things out about double, and he's going to move half speed, essentially. Control C, Control V to paste. Am I doing something wrong there? Control Z to undo. But anyway, you get the idea. Now he moves slower, and then fast at the end, because I didn't change those keyframes. So that will entirely adjust what frames per second you want to display. 40 here. If it goes all the way to 40, that represents one second of time for Smack Studio. And if you're confused about maybe why this isn't appearing the way that you want, keep in mind that it's going to use the last frame of the timeline as the end point. So for example, if I were to move this hurtbox frame out here, Control c Control v then delete this, it's now going to hang on this last frame until this is over. So that's kind of how this timeline works, and we'll go over that a bit more in some other tutorials. If you're having issues importing your sprites, remember that there might be some semi-transparency that's making it broken or look strange, or the sprite is simply too large. If you try to import a sprite that's too large, it's going to be cut off and it's not going to work. Now one nice thing too here is you can see that it looks like his hand got cut off in the back here. So what I can do from this 
point is I can select one of the sprite layers. In this case, I want to select this one. I'm going to use the, the paint option, and I'm going to change the brush color to this exact color. And I'm just going to click, and there we go. We've restored the missing part of the character, and uh, he looks fully complete now. Um, note that you can do this for the rest of the sprites as well. So maybe let's try one more example with Dash. There's currently nothing here, so let's give that a shot and see if we can get our our dash animation in there. It looks like this might be the dash where, where he's speeding up. So let's give that a shot. We have single click import, we have keep the pane open, and we're just going to try to click and enter and see if that works. Okay, we'll do three down the line. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Look at that. That was pretty easy. And if you want, you can do, we'll, we'll go over the go back, go to and play, but you'd probably want to do something like have it repeat here. So it's repeating this section. So if he's still dashing, he's not doing this over and over. He's stuck in this position, but he's rolling on his wheels on his feet. So anyhow, that gives you an idea of frame by frame animation in Smack Studio. And I hope you make all kinds of awesome characters with this method.